So motion track titles can look really cool and professional. Let's start by having a look at a couple of examples where these can be used effectively. Now it might be that you've got a crowded shot full of people and you want to pinpoint one specific person out and give them a name tag. These titles also work really well with nature shots because as well as the camera movement or the subject that you're tracking, you've also got wind that the title can move with. So this is the title that we're going to be working on. It's a slow motion slider shot of some daisies. We're going to be working in After Effects, so have that loaded up if you want to follow along. Let's go. So the objective is to locate something within the image that you can lock on and track throughout all the frames. Right off the bat, I'm looking at this, these petals here, maybe that one would be good to track. Just go to Window and Tracker, and then the Tracker toolbar comes up here. Then want to click Track Motion, and that brings up a track point basically two squares that's going to form the frame of the pixels that the software is analyzing from one frame to the next to see where it moves to if you hover over the track point when the cursor turns black you can then click hold and move it to wherever you want so we'll go up to this petal here and at this point it's important to note that you want to make sure there's sufficient amount of contrast between light and dark in both the squares because that's what the software uses to analyze the movement from frame to frame so we'll put it around what we want to be tracked go back to the tracker toolbar there's a little play triangle when you hover over it, it says analyze forward if you click on that then it will analyze every frame of those specific pixels so that looks like it's tracked them really well um, if we Go up, to, we can see all the track points there. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is create a null object and then map the motion points to that. So we can then create an animated title and parent that motion to it. So for that, we want to right click here and go to new null object and then go back to the tracker toolbar and click on edit target. Make sure the null objects selected and click OK. Then go back to the tracker again and click on Apply. X and Y, OK. So now we see the null object, which is represented by that red square, now tracks the movement. Now what we want to do is create a title in a separate composition. We're going to then pull that composition into this one and then map it up to the motion. So if you go up to the top, go to composition new composition just click ok and we'll start by adding the text let's go back to the daisies because we really want to have in mind before we create this is where where is it going to sit within the frame as this daisy is going from there to about there i can imagine it the text would look good around here and then we'll have an arm pointing up to the petal that it's tracking. So with that in mind, we've got the text. Let's give it a background. Let's go new shape layer. I'm going to move both of them down slightly. And we'll just use the pen tool to create a little arm. Click once there, about that angle stroke let's go for nine so let's go back to the daisies just drag the composition that we've just been working on down to the timeline and make sure it's above the video clip there it is and we can resize that like so so when we're happy with where it's sitting we can then map the motion to the rest of the clip you can do that by clicking and dragging this parent pick whip or just selecting the layer here and that should track the motion I mean depending on what you're using it for you could leave it as that we'll carry on to animate this in and I'm also going to show you how I create one of those targets we'll go back into the title composition 
just click on this transparency grid. I mean, what do those targets look like? A dartboard, right? A bullseye. I'll go online, get an image of a bullseye that I think is going to fit and bring it in and then animate that in slightly. If we just drag this into the composition, let's see how big it is first. So we'll start by making the size work with everything else, really. It looks pretty good to me. Let's see how it fares up here. And that's really nice. Yeah, nice size. Things out the petal. And you can see that sticks with the motion. Let's add a little bit of animation to that. We're going to start with introducing the target. The arm and the title can just wipe in after. Let's just move these three layers down a bit so we can work on the very quick. Something like that. How I do this is probably different to others, but I'm just going to split that layer. That's what I want to end up with. And we'll do a bit of an animation on this one. Copy it two times before the static target comes in. Put a scale point in. And to the beginning, put another scale point in. Eight. That's quite nice. Also have a fade in as well, so opacity. We'll add keyframes exactly where the scale is. And then one in the middle. The first one zero comes up to 100% opacity and then goes back out. So then we'll just copy this twice. Control C, V, V, and it will, After Effects will place them above. No need for overlapping or anything fancy. All right, that's a bit, bit fast, I think. Maybe have a gap between them. Yeah, I like that. So on this last one, we don't want it to fade out. It's going into the static one. So we shall get rid of that keyframe and that should So that's looking good and we'll just budge the text along and then with this shape layer highlight it and then click on the pen tool and then this little option here to create a mask click once and I'm holding shift just to make the lines straighter and there should have the mask we'll go back onto the cursor tool and we can wipe that in we want to drop down the masks option mask path we want a keyframe there drop another keyframe in and then just pull these two points out so it ends up with all the title revealed let's go back to the main composition then see how it fits nice that's pretty much it so now we just need to render this out and then we can import that clip into premiere so i hope this helps let me know how you get on and if you come into any problems i'm sure i'll be able to help you out and if you like this check out my other tutorials and i've also got some free video editing assets to download on my site which is in the description Thanks for watching.